indeed. Member of my no local Nerf club decided apparently I needed a poop emoji hat, so I've got one of those now. News! Next big event that I will be going to is the PSU Invitational, first weekend of April, and then two weeks after that I will be in Europe at Foam Fest, and then spending the week in Europe running amok. There's plans, I will get the full itinerary, or at least the parts of it that's useful to you guys, uh, posted at some point. And, uh, yeah, that should be fun. Should be a lot of fun. A note! Yes, I am in fact aware of the fact that there's a spring thunder on my wall. It didn't sneak in while I wasn't looking. You'll actually see me get it later in this video. Yes, I will do a video on it. Not sure why people keep bringing it up. Uh, uh, let's see, let's get one out of the way. A comment that got asked a whole bunch was my thoughts on the blasters from Toy Fair. I don't have any. I haven't actually played with any of them yet, and I don't speculate. So as soon as I get my hands on them, I'll let you know what I think. Until then, uh, I got nothing to say. And now, for the question. John Holloway asks, are you going to make a Nerf Ultra attachment? An another one? Uh, the very first attachment that I ever made for Ire is chambered for Ultra. It, uh, that one's chambered for Old Mega, which is the exact same time as Ultra. So the oldest one I have will fire Ultra. Orane Hughes. How often do you find Busby Air Blaster's Ultimate Berserker at Goodwills, and how much do you think one is worth? Probably C1 every other big Goodwill run I do, and they're worth about $7.99. Uh, I found one at Goodwill uh, I go to every month or, or so, and I'm go using it for a collection of Dark Blaster Revolvers from 94 to 2015. For the third question, uh, how long do you think it would take with extreme dedication to get all of them? Well, I think I have almost all of them. There's, there's still a few Supermaxes out there that I don't have. Um, and I only really started seriously collecting about a year ago. So, And I haven't actually been, you know, as you would say, extremely dedicated. Uh, so not all that hard, especially if you have more than one goodwill that you can go to or you have people you can reach out to. Um, there are some rare ones, but um, they can all be gotten. Christopher Goodrow. Would you do a quick draw thing with Brett? I, I, would I? Under what conditions? I mean, I have no... I, I think I actually have. We did a pirate duel at one point. Royals Empire. Captain, do you know the Muffin Man? Know him? That schmuck owes me three croissants. JG Sword Refuse and Costume Weapons. Whatever happened to the straight-handled drain blasters? Uh, I've got one up in my storage area. Grim Z Nerfworks, how is your Strife Mark II performing? Uh, fine. Um, it was designed for HVZ, so it hits in the 120, 130 range. Uh, it does need some tuning. It had some issues at uh, Georgia, but I suspect that was the result of the rain. Patrick Parrick, would you ever think about adding a D&D story time every once in a while? And I could. I've got lots of D&D &D stories. But I still haven't gotten through all of the many, many other stories I've gotten. And I, I didn't ever do D&D &D as Captain Xavier. So it, it really doesn't fit with the story time as much, in my opinion. Leonard Rozdowski. What weapon from the First or Second World War would you want to see uh, a Nerf Blaster of? Uh, Tommy Gun. Or the MG42. That could be fun. But also the Tommy Gun. Le Tonk. Just thrifted a deploy, a barricade, and a maverick. Any ideas on what to do with them? Well, the barricade is perfectly serviceable. Uh, apparently the motors are actually very, very robust. Uh, you could easily just run it on two IMRs and a dummy, and it would ha have plenty of power. The problem with it is that the, the wheel spacing is set up for Whistler darts, so they don't work as well with Elites, and Whistler, whistler darts are hard to get a hold of anymore. Uh, you you can 
like add, I know some people would add like electrical tape or something around the wheels to make them a little bit wider in order to better grip the, the smaller darts. Um, the deploy is great for parts, as I've said many, many times. The, the stock, the extending stock, actually makes a great hammer shot holster with just a little bit of dremeling. Um, and the Maverick depends on you know, what you want to do with it. Uh, if you have an air blaster, they make great absolvers. Otherwise, they look good on a wall because they're classic. There really isn't much you can do with them mod-wise to bring them up to any kind of modern specifications. But if you just like running silly, you can try to get tags with a Maverick and then, you know, mock people for having gotten tagged with a Maverick if you're that sort of person. Lord Angelus. What are your hopes, expectations, and wishes for Foam Fest and the Auxiliary? Um, I really don't have any. I've never been to Foam Fest. I know almost nothing about it whatsoever. Other than that, I'm going to show up and do the stuff. Um, I'm hoping everyone has fun. Uh, I expect the Auxiliary to purport themselves with honor and discipline um, and to be fun and silly. Uh, wishes? Wishes. No, no, no. I'm going to go and I'm going to have fun. Um, that, that's about it. Not really pinning too much on what's going to happen. Um, if there are battles, I hope the Auxiliary, you know, works together as a team or fights wonderfully against each other as different teams. It's going to be fun. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! Hit the frame. It's good enough. Phoenix Fire. Does the Sweet Revenge have any cosmetic mods like the Hammer Shot? Not that I am aware of. It doesn't mean that there aren't, but I haven't seen many. Um, the the cylinder and the uh, is is the same. Uh, there's there's one minor difference. The the front tab has to be mo uh, modified slightly, but upgrade cylinders for and springs for the Hammer Shot will work in the Sweet Revenge, though the hammer and trigger kits won't. Silver Fox Industries, however, does have resin cast hammers and, and triggers for the Sweet Revenge. So that's about the only one that I'm aware of. Jules Ham. What do people you work with think of you being Captain Xavier? And what do you think, or, and do you think you'll do YouTube full-time soon? Um, my coworkers think it's it's neat. They've seen some of the videos. Uh, they find it fascinating. It's, it's not anything that any of them are particularly interested in, other than one of them does have kids that are apparently fans of mine, so I'd love to get to, you know, bring them down here at some point. Um, and no, I don't think, I have no plans whatsoever to ever try to make YouTube full-time. I have a wonderful career that I very much enjoy, and that pays my mortgage. Uh, YouTube is far too finicky for me. Uh, it's too easy for one mistake or one change to ruin that livelihood, so I prefer to have my my uh, very stable career and then youtube is for fun so um if i really wanted to i probably could at this point i'd have to put a lot more work in it to grow the channel a lot more and to get more sponsorships and and all of that jazz but that makes it work and that's not nearly as much fun um, as it is it makes me more than enough to be able to carry on the hobby and to travel and to do all the fun things that i'm doing and that's what i always wanted out of it so uh, I'm quite happy with where it is. I don't imagine it's going to stop growing anytime soon. Um, but uh, never my plan to try to make it my career. Michael Coolidge. Do you know of any Japanese nerfing groups? I don't off the top of my head. I know that nerf is hugely popular in Singapore and in Hong Kong. So I can't imagine it's not popular in Japan. But who knows? Um, I'm sure there are some. I understand it. Japan's not all that big compared to, you know, like the United States. Um, so, but there may be some travel you might have to do, but I understand you've got great mass transit there. So, look around. Austin Black. If you could be a Transformer, what side would you be on and what would you transform into? Well, obviously I would be an Autobot because they are the good guys. And I would, I would transform into a half-track. Yes. King Laika on zero zero. What do you think of a shield that when you're carrying it is a small arm shield, but you can plant it and it expands to be uh, a piece of cover? Uh, the word you're looking for is a pavise. Is the a shield that's planted for cover is a pavise? Um, having a like a buckler that deploys out into a pavise would actually be really cool. 
and it wouldn't be all that hard if you used um, like some kind of a, a, a frame with fabric on it that folded up and then popped out, uh, like an umbrella kind of a thing, perhaps. Um, I have seen some similar concepts. There was someone at Afterworlds, um, Ichiro had one that um, kind of cl closed up like, um, like, like blinds do and then um, extended out and he could plant it in front of him and use it as cover. Uh, and there was a game mechanic for it. It was actually really, really cool. Jose Costa. Between the takedown and the roundhouse, which you recommend? Well, depends on whether you want a shotgun or a pistol. They're, they're very different blasters. Uh, the roundhouse obviously has more capacity, which is impressive. I, ha I have one. I haven't actually taken that out of the box yet. Uh, but 15 rounds in a, a blaster that compact is actually fairly impressive, especially for rival. Um, the takedown, I think, only holds eight, but it's pump action, which makes it a lot more convenient and a lot more snappy, whereas top prime is a little bit more awkward, in my opinion. Some people prefer it. Um, so, yeah, it really depends on what you're looking for. Optimus Voltron. Have you read the Secret Histories series by Simon R. Green? No. Officer Kelpie. Where do you get your deploy magwells from? From deploys? Is this a trick question? I take them off of the corpses of deploys I kill. But where else would you get them? The black market. Yes, that's the one. The black market deploys. Bins of them in alleys sold by men in trench coats. The goat head. Do you think that using a razor beast as a chassis, shell mainly, for a deplorable would be a good idea? Yes. That would actually look awesome. Um, yes. Uh, if you could figure out how to get the, the the belt feed mechanism and all of the internals from a Vulcan into a Razor Beast, that would actually look really cool. And I would love to see that in action. Kovacax slash Uncle Fourpiece. Has the flamethrower gotten an actual name yet? Uh, no. Um... I probably really could give it a name. I did use it at Afterworld, or uh, not Afterworld, uh, Ragnar Oktoberfest, but mm, I, I didn't feel it really distinguished itself. There wasn't anything that said, this needs a name. It, it's, it's a flamethrower. Mm. Someday it might. Someday. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, not even close. All right, on to the package. And now for the package. This is actually being filmed like, a week and a half in advance, but I've already got a pile of packages and I'm trying to get my shop from getting cluttered. I am, of course, failing in that endeavor, but what's important is that I am trying. So, let's take a look. I've got a letter here. This actually came a while ago, but it keeps getting lost. But I finally got it here. See? See? Look, 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 look at that. Look at it! So cool. Good Lord. Dear Captain Xavier, Captain of all, Nerf, it has been too long I have wanted to write to you, preferably with a package, uh, for a long time, but haven't had the time or spare change to do so. I was just planning to, on doing some special stuff on uh, Fan Mail 100, but am unable for the same reasons. I started college this year, and I'm studying automotive technology. Cool. I, I need to know more about cars. I'm really enjoying it so far. Anyway, forgot to enroll in classes this semester, so I may be able to go over there to help a friend wire up their new garage and, of course, see if I can finally meet you. I'm also considering moving up there when I move out. I haven't been able to keep up with your videos recently, so I don't know how the makerspace is coming along, but I would love to help out in any way that I can, even if it means... Fixing cars! My car actually does need some repairs. It's still leaking power fuel steering fluid. We have fixed that several times, and it keeps breaking. I was planning to write more, but I only have time to tell you one more thing. Since I'm in college, I don't have time for a good job right now, so I've been picking up woodworking as a small profit hobby, mainly making conductor batons. Cool. If you know of anyone, yourself included, interested in something like an organizer or special case or box out of nice wood, let me know and I can prioritize getting a special new blade for this har for the hardwoods. Anyway, hope you are doing well and hope to meet you soon. Jimmy! As a matter of fact, 
I may take you up on the woodworking thing, as I do have a use for some custom boxes. We shall have to talk. We shall have to talk. I love these. I still don't know where it gets them. They're cool. Very cool. Ah, uh, yes. Would love to meet you. Let me know. Uh, Makerspace is coming along beautifully. It's mostly built. Has some wiring that needs to be done still. Uh, roof needs some repairs, but I have to wait for the dry season. But yeah, it's definitely uh, functional, and people have been coming and working on stuff, so that is awesome. All right, next package. We have this little one. Sounds broken. Also sounds like happiness. It's, it is indeed happiness. Sweet. It's a jester. Who's it from? Who's it from? Does it say? Jadams. No, that's a seller. Buyer. Whitney. Pretty sure... I think they contacted me and told me that they'd sent me this, but now I'm unsure. There's gotta be a note. There's gotta be a note. There's a note. There's a note. There's a note. Nope. 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 Hmm. I believe it was the Talesians. I believe they reached out to me because I have been now uh, apparently giving Sparky Santos credit for some of their gifts. Because if there's no note, I assume it's him because he sends me so much stuff. But apparently, they've been sending me stuff and I'm giving the wrong person credit and that makes me a schmuck and I feel terrible. So, hopefully, this is from the Talesians. Because if not, I don't know who it is from and I am a schmuck. It's lovely. It's adorable. Thank you so much. Very, very cool. Alright. Next small-ish because I open it. Oh, yep, no. Aha! Hell's Razor by S.J. Shower. Sure, sure. A spiral war novel. What do we have? Oh, no. Uh, check the bookmarked page within your officially part of the spiral war. Bookmarked page. Welcome to spiral war. Her ex. She exploits their harder-to-find desires and supplies them, Arion smiled. Nothing shady, though. There's this one mercenary captain she works with. He's got a serious sweet tooth and likes authentic candies from various worlds, not auto-cook replicas. Blazer understood that. He'd been raised on auto-cook food. Everything that came out of those machines just never tasted quite like the real thing. He's got a crew that works in various sectors. Alia has contacts that can get even... Xavier, that's his name... Candies from the deep in the Galactic Federation. She keeps him supplied and his guys keep her safe. I don't know if that's the... I think that's the extent of it. And that is awesome. <laughs> I'm in a book. That's cool. Um, I've, I've showed these off a couple of times. There's a whole bunch of books in the series. The Spiral War Trilogy. If you're looking for a, uh, a sci-fi series to get into. There's quite a... F I think he's three or four of them out there now. Not sure which book this is. They're not numbered. Anyway, yeah, check them out. Spiral War series. I'm in it. That is so cool. I'm in a book. <laughs> Next, we have a thing. Could be anything. It. It. See, now I'm fairly certain that these are, in fact, both of these are from the Talesians. Aha! Hey, Cat. Slightly related birthday. Sincerely, Nathan Talesian and the wife. Happy bangerang to you. Happy bangerang to you. Happy bangerang, dear Captain. Happy bangerang to you. You look like a pirate and nerf like one, too. Love ya, bearded, ye miscreant. That is so cool. All right, so now the truth comes out. Yes, Talesians. They got me a bunch of horses. That is cool. Are they authentic Lego horse? I don't believe they are. Nor do I care. They are the articulated kind. Which I have very few of them because 
that was the era of uh, Lego that I was a penniless college student for. Sweet. So these ones can actually rear up. Most of the newer ones can. Pretty much all of mine can't. So, yeah. They've got armored foreheads and angry eyes. Very cool. Sweet. I've got to get my Lego room built. Got to. Must. Have to. Got to. All right. Ha! Ha ha! You people are awesome. You spoil me. All right, what do we got? Here we have a thing. It is indeed a thing. Now, see, this one I think actually is from Sparky. Could be from anywhere. But uh, somebody recently sent me the uh, another one of the Mauser C96 from the same line. And I'm pretty sure Jose uh, Lutithor. Uh, what? Power rolls on. Right. Somebody recently sent me the Mauser, and uh, uh, Sparky apparently decided to send me the uh, 1911, which is super, super cool. These are not actually, um, they, they're, they just, they're spring-powered, but they just hit the round and fire it, which is neat. They don't have a whole lot of velocity, but they're neat. Uh, and very good for cosplay kinds of stuff, because it actually is fairly realistic looking. You just have to sand off the markings and fill in the made in china stuff uh but yeah pretty sure luchthor 13 showed off one of these on one of his channel and then i i hosed him with a jupiter anyway very very cool very cool Yes, sweet i may have to go ahead and try those in a k26 episode but i know they take take extension springs so they're not gonna but that's never been the point. Okay, now we get on to the big one. I have a suspicion what this one is because I saw a post from somebody else who got sent something similar. It's, it's a thing. Aha, this would appear to be a note. Boy, it's a sealed note. Dear children, my name is George and I am the marketing manager here at evike.com. We are a distributor for Jet Blaster products and we received your shipping address and information from Troy, who has been in contact with you via Facebook. Has he? Sounds like something he would do. Enclosed you will find a complete Jet Cita S foam blaster outfitted with one times three red dot scope. 6mm Pro Shop CTS retractable stock, some targets we made for you to shoot at, blaster is a fully modified foam blaster right out of the box, made to shoot, uh, with an Airsoft M4 stock compatible buffer tube, Picatinny rail, any scope attachments, and much more. For more information on the blaster, please visit our website at evike.com products slash 13764. The CTS uses modified shortened short dart system, we also have a, a CETA Omni that is also available uh, to the market, which takes longer regular size darts and shoots darts enclosed. The advantage of the CETA S is, of course, its efficiency and its amazing, reliable 158 performance accuracy, which provides maximum range. Here at Evike, we do have an affiliate program. If you are interested in reviewing any of our other items and to be and to be part of our affiliate program, please reach out to me via email at there. Lovely, lovely, Lo lovely. What? 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 Darts? Oh, it's a blue one! Sweet! I've always favored red myself, because it's easier to make orange, but I will happily take blue. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Half dart, half dart. Uh huh. Sight. Oh, that is lovely. Safety. Very nice, very nice. That did. Oh, that is a comp look at that fancy stock. That is nice. That is real nice. What else do we have in here? We've got a hat and I think a shirt. Merch! They sent me merch. Her ha he, he. It's a patch. 
I'm not sure what. Oh, these are the targets. Oh, they're little metal, so they make noise and fall over. Cool. Cool. More targets. This one looks like a pop cat. <laughs> More. Gotcha. I, I got nothing. Very cool. A shirt. And a hat. Oh. All right. Uh, is the whole front of that Velcro? Well, now I'm curious. I was going to say, oh, it doesn't have Velcro. I can't put patches on it. But if that whole front panel is one giant Velcro thing. Ha-ha, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Neat. Hat. Shirt. And I assume empty boxes. Yes, so they sent the boxes. But they sent the blaster outside of the box. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. There's a magazine. Dark. Super cool. Well, we'll definitely have to do a review on that because that is nifty. I can compare it to the previous iteration and see how it, the improvements stack up. I could then potentially compare it to other blasters and see how it um, performs. That is super cool. I will definitely check out the affiliate program and see what else they've got. Let me know if there's anything you particularly would like to see reviewed, and I can review it. Loot. Very cool. All right. We've got one more big one. This is the one that I, I suspect is going to be take some time to dig through because it's a uh, it's got crab stickers on it, which if previous packages that came covered in crab stickers are any indication, this is going to be a doozy. Oh, it darts. Oh, look, a note. Captain Xavier, happy bladed birthday. This box contains all the pieces to make your own spring thunder. Plus custom parts that were designed by uh, Adrian. Carbon fiber mag and barrel tubes. 9 inch K26 with squared en uh, ground ends. 20 buckshot shells. A couple of parts that I modified to be personalized for you. Spring thunder is by far my favorite from Flinging Blaster. I hope you get as much enjoyment out of it as I do. Keep being awesome. Sincerely, Boomstick, Boomstick, what have you done? Sir, good lord. I, I, I do appreciate the use of ammunition as packing material. Oh, they're, they're in no particular, they're not in bags. I'm going to have to dig them out. <laughs> I happen to know some of these parts are, does anyone know how this goes together? Well, there's a bit in the bag. Oh, good. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, good. The little bits are... Hey, come back here. There's some of the fiddly bits. Fiddly, fiddly bits. All right, keep digging. That's a shell. That's a shell. That's a... What the... Oh! Would you... Would you... Would you... Look, look, look at it. Look, look at it. So pretty. Something like that. Bats. Oh, massive shell holder. No idea how that works, but it's cool. It's like I'm missing something that goes through there. Probably elastic. All the fiddly bits, let's not lose. Those are some fiddly bits. We're gonna keep the fiddly bits safe. That, that is amazing. I'm absolutely flummoxed, sir. And I am, I'm gonna build this in a video probably tomorrow.
So this video may end up coming out before you actually see the video where I reveal that I've gotten this. Who knows? We will see. I may try to do it in some kind of chronological order, but God, that is so pretty. Look, look at it. Look, look. So cool. So cool. <laughs> what do you, what do you do? What? I'm going to have to look up the instructions. Sir, sir, you're awesome. There will probably be more stuff after this stuff because this is two days into the cycle. <laughs> you guys are awesome and you spoil me and I love it. New day, new swag. Let's see what I got. Got a little package from somebody from Brick Arms. Pretty sure they didn't send it to me. Someone else. Oh, look at this. Look at, look at the... No explanation. Oh, good. Now that's just creepy. It uh, appears to be at least some of the parts for a plague doctor. Or not. Nope. Oh, ho -ho, it's even better. It's lantern shields. I mentioned recently in a video I talked about lantern shields. And it turns out apparently Brick Arms makes them. And somebody got me some. Those are so cool. <laughs> That's cool. Now I really want to... I want a plague doctor now. I'll have to... I'll have to pick one up. I wonder why it shows Plague Doctor. Oh, it also shows his partners. Anyway, whoever sent this, you are awesome. You know who you are, and that is super cool. I will have to, uh, I will have to build a minifigure, a couple of minifigures specifically to have those. The Wolf Pack guys will definitely have one. Um, I'll have to come up with some other characters specifically to have one. That is really cool. Thank you. All right, we have something here from Star World Toys. Could be anything. Aha! Someone has sent me a ridiculous amount of Koosh! Glow in the dark Koosh? That's a thing? How is this still a thing? Official Hasbro. When was Hasbro making glow in the dark Koosh? 2012 is apparently when this was packaged. So these are, oh, not old enough to be on the wall, but still super cool. Super cool. Super cool. Came from a Hasbro, though. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know where these came from, but whoever sent them, you were awesome, and that is super cool. Um, I will have to start escalating my plans to build a Koosh Proton Pack, like, uh, I believe, Buff Daddy. Nerf did one, and I want to do one. I'm going to use a different blaster than he did, but, uh, yeah. All right. We got this one, which says fragile and heavy. Very heavy. From a Norville. A J. Norville. It's, 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 a, it's a, what is it? Good Lord. Good, good Lord, sir. Good Lord. A note. Greetings and salutations, Mon Capitan. I hope this letter and parcel find you well and itself well. It appears to be. I don't think it's leaking. I will try to keep this short and concise since I have the penmanship and focus of a Tasmanian devil hopped up on speed. So, list as follows. Various flavors of root beer and root beer derivatives from the Midwest. Not sure if you can find these out west. If not, enjoy! Train! Lies! Lies. I've been led astray again. I noticed you have a penchant for gummies. Thus, I have included a box of chewy goodness from across the pond. For space reasons, I removed the candy from the box, but both are included. Wine gummies. Oh, I think I've... I may have been sent these. I think... I think I tried some of these with the in the video with Walcom. And the white box is what I have left from the 1993 Lego set 6071- Dark Dragon's Den. So wait. Uh, it was the only Lego castle set I ever had, and one of uh, of only a few sets overall. I had this set complete until about 15 or so years ago. The minifigs are mostly complete, without uh, only one crest missing. Well, that's not bad at all. 
uh, one gray scalloped axe and uh, two cloth flags. Yeah, well, those are obviously, that's life. Um, somehow the dragon escaped, so be on the lookout. I have lots of dragons, just the minis I need. I give them to you for your castle since they just sit in a box here and get uppity on me. Well, they would. How dare you, sirs. Happy belated birthday. Wanted to get this to you before then, but that's life. I appreciate the videos that you and your colleagues all uh, in all things foam make that help me get through the day to day drudgery of my job. I may not be hopping into modding right away, but at least I am rebuilding my nerf arsenal and going uh, and gaining interest in HVZ. I hope to be able to go to Penn State at least since it's within a driving distance of me and one of the larger events. If I do make it out there, I would be thrilled to run with you and the crew. Until then, quoth the raven, bangarang, call sign, raven, P.S. Crunchy Captain, stay crunchy, Captain. Will do, all right, well, that is awesome. Um, if you're close to Penn State, you should also come to End War because it's at the same place, just later in the year. Oh, what do we got? Oh, no, give me, give me the thing. Root, root beer? Aha! Real cane sugar, caffeine-free, Route 66 root beer. Get your kicks on Route 66 beer. Well, that's just awesome. I'm keeping that bottle. What do we got here? Kansas City sarsaparilla. Well, I've definitely never had that. What? What? There's a note. Note. There's another note. P.S. Trade! Aha! I've been led astray again. Oh, uh, Frost Top Premium Root Beer. I figured it was another bottle of that, but no, they're different. Very cool. Never had either of those. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Frost Top Red Birch Beer. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You spoil me, sir. You spoil me. Root Beer, Birch Beer, and Sarsaparilla. We've got it all, man. we got it all. Dang, that's good. Butterscotch root beer. Oh, I'm dubious of this one. I've had some questionable butterscotch root beer, but I will give it a try, sir. That is very cool. What do we got? Oh, some mini figs. This is all the, just the minis. Sweet. There, there appears to be a Ninja Turtle and Samurai armor in there. I'm pretty sure that wasn't from the Dragon set. Oh, I like it. I like it. Those heads are on the wrong one. I'm, I'm that level of nerd, yes. Very cool. The wizard, yes. Oh, here we have the goomies. I'm not sure how goomy they are, but I'll take it. All right, let's see what we got in here. We have minifigures. Okay, that one's all over the place. I think, oh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna have to read the instructions on this one. Never had any of the superhero ones, so I'm not sure how the whole making them look like they're flying is supposed to work. And it doesn't show you. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, I see. Okay. So this goes here. That go is that go on there? Is it some kind of a harpoony looking weapony thing? Yes, okay. Then this goes here to center them and they fly. Neat. And then apparently it comes with a spare make them fly part. Oh, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got a Batman. Nope. Nope. Much better, much better. We've got the goofy wannabe batman -y thing. I'm not actually sure who or what he is. I'm sure I'll get a thousand comments. We got, what we get? We got Superman. 
Caped Wonder, Stun City. <laughs> and last but not least, oh, what we get? What we get? Oh, excellent! Got Huntress. Very cool, who I don't believe could fly, but she did a lot of jumping about. Came with an extra belt. Neat. Very cool! Very cool! Stuff I did not have. Always cool to get Lego that I did not have. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I shall be sampling some of these root beers tonight. I shall get the Lego to the Lego room. Someday it'll actually get built. These will probably go on display. Maybe in my office along with my other collections of fancy minifigs from the minifig line that don't really fit in Castle or Pirate, so they don't really go on the dioramas. Most excellent. Really looking forward to trying those root beers in that sarsaparilla. All right, one last package. This one came to me from, I believe, Japan. I am curious what is in here. I bring tidings, snacks, and a blaster from the land of the rising sun. The blaster is a rapid strike painted to look like a colonial marine's pulse rifle from Aliens. It has an internal ammo counter from AmmoCounter.com. Well, that's about the coolest thing ever. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. Oh, phooey. It was my second modded blaster, and I got it working at one point, but it seems they cut the power, and mostly the pusher motor died. Mostly. I thought... Game over, man. Game over. The blaster itself was a used one and not in the best condition. It has sat untouched for almost a year, and I was tempted to take it and nuke the entire site from orbit, but I thought someone at the makerspace could bring it back to life or at least salvage the ammo counter. Seeing, um, seeing it put to good use would be nice. I also included some snacks from Japan and a 5 and a 10 yen coin, since I saw you have a coin collection. I do. The 5 yen, with the hole, is supposed to attach more money, so should help your collection grow. I was supposed to attract more money. The squid tentacles, I thought, were especially piratey. Enjoy! Barasta. Neat! He's on YouTube, apparently. Check him out. Well, let's start with the black. Ah. Yup. That, that is cool. That, that is pretty dull, darn, schnazzy. Yup, ammo counter. I will definitely be making this de- Oh, there's floof! That's not supposed to be sticking out. That's not right. I will definitely make this sing again, sir, because that is entirely too cool. All right, what do we got for- Oh, magazine. We've got some Pocky. I do enjoy Pocky. We have- I hope those aren't actually mushrooms. Nope, they're not. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. I assume... Gum? Haichu! Ooh! Haichu. I like Haichu. I don't know what these, what these are, but they're dense. Um. Um. I got nothing. Cream. Colon. Nope. No clue. No clue! Those are tentacles. Ooh, more haichu. All the Japanese haichu in all the land. Apple, strawberry, lemon. Oh, I like that. Oh, what do we got over here? Just parts. It is. Bits and bobs from that. Cool. Well, I will have to try to do a video of trying snacks. I'm going to try a haichu right now because I like lemon and I like haichu so I'm going to try a lemon haichu and you can't stop me <laughs> now
that. That is going to ruin the high chew for me forever. Because that is delicious. It's got a crunchy center. I love it. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Until next time. One final package snuck in at the last minute uh, during filming on Thursday. Uh, this one comes to me from the Engelsteads, who are among the people like the Talesians and Sparky who send me the coolest stuff. So, looking forward to seeing what they have sent me today. They sent me a note. Truly really is my favorite thing. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope the day finds you well. Uh, we are so happy to see all the progress uh, of the Makerspace and all the work you are doing. I know how much work must be in the building, repairing, planning, painting, and more uh, for the hobby along with your regular job. Thank you for bringing us all along for the journey and documenting the process. My son and I are really enjoying the loadout on auxiliary videos. Enclosed are a few additions to the walls of glory included, uh, unless they are duplicates, um, then do as you will with them. Also sending some Lego goodness. Yes, Legos. Uh, to be used as you see fit. I always find the detail pieces to be interesting and can add so much to a build. Hope you enjoy. Ryan, Michelle, Greta, and Gabe. Loot, loot, loot. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Oh, I, I actually have a launcher for these. Oh, good lord. I saw you sent Walcom one of these. You actually managed to find two of them? These are old whiteout darts. What year are they from? Two thousand and eleven is what's marked on them, so they're actually outside of the collection. But they're going on the wall anyway. Because actually, yeah, um, I will put them up with the two whiteout long strikes that are on on the wall. Uh, I could also put it with the whiteout maverick that's on the wall. They're going on the wall, is what I'm saying, because that is just too cool. Ah! Thunderdome patch! I already have one of these? I do! Now I got another one. Is it different? Is it new? Nope, it's the same. Cool. I will find something for it then. What? 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 Oh, it's the blue one! Sweet! It doesn't catch, but that's okay, because it's going on the wall. Uh, I didn't know that... I didn't think there was one. For some reason, I thought they didn't make... A blue one but I was pointed out that I was wrong apparently they didn't ever sell it as a unity set or something like that I don't know uh, but I've got the blue um, Titan and Hornet and so this will go on the wall along with them and will look fabulous awesome 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 yep new duplicates okay let's see what we got set wise we've got the Looks like underwater stuff. There's a cone. Treasure, treasure dress, fish, shark, starfish. A parrot. A parrot and a color I didn't have. So this will be great stuff for the uh, for my pirate setup, which is awesome. I'm hoping to get that set up someday. Um, yeah. Very cool. And then we have a Harry Potter set that I did not have. All right. I'm going to open this one up. Okay, first of all, we build the little person who's got short feet. With messy hair. Oh, jeez. I went to Brisk, Brick Cascade, which is the Portland equivalent of BrickCon, this weekend after, um, on Sunday, with some members of the crew and I saw an absolutely fantastic use for these little wands. That I may have to try to implement. Uh, they were used as legs 
for Lego Deer. And I think I have enough to do one. At least I hope I do. If not, I'm sure I can acquire more of those. All right, let's build the thing. We have a Hedwig, a much more detailed Hedwig than the previous ones. Hedwig in her cage. That is pretty snazzy. Neat. It's got a book with a page in it, which looks like the levitation spell. Wingardium Leviosa. Ah, neat. I assume it's the trolley from platform nine and three quarters. And a cauldron, which we can put the spare parts in. Comes with an extra wand, extra one of these clampy things. Very, very cool. And I agree entirely. Uh, little details like this little cauldron. I didn't have anything like that. There's a couple of parts here. I think I had most of these parts. Might not have had those all in the same color, but also having the the more detailed owl and all of that. Very, very cool. There's, there is no set I don't want, as I have said, because parts are parts. You never know when you're going to end up using a part you were never expecting to use. So that is super, super cool. Man, ah, All right, well, all of this will get compiled, hopefully, into something that makes a vague amount of sense. Thank you all so much for all of the stuff you continue to send me. You spoil me. It's wonderful. And uh, I will get videos on the various things that I need to get videos on and hopefully get back to people I need to get back to. If not, email me or I will forget. Uh, if you want to send me something, mailing address is down in the description. Uh, if you have questions, email address is down in the description. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I've got a Patreon, all that jazz. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.